Hey guys, before the video begins, let's give a big shout out to all of our new YouTube members. Brian Blackner, Justin Price, Chow Chris, Mikhail Devera, Frederick Gilmore, Ian McHugh, Archer BLT, Niarna, Bioware79, Valentin, Basil Mathai, Seth Coleman. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Radical Red Nuzlocke. Alright, last time we made it through <laughs> Silent Bridge, finally. We got through all of the mandatory sun battles, except for one we actually managed to avoid. But we're just gonna... I don't want to bother. So, hopefully we can finally get to Fuchsia City this time. Oh, thank God. Look at this. Non-boss mons. I never thought I'd see the day. Oh, it feels so good to one-shot everything again. Ooh, there's a TM. Ooh, we have to go get that. But thankfully, Fuchsia City is right there. So we finally made it. There's so many good things in Fuchsia City. There's Rock Smash. There's Surf. There's the Move Tutor. Um, there's, uh, there's the Safari Zone. <laughs> That's a weird... It's like the Ra the Raichu really wanted to be from Alola, but it, it just didn't work out. We got Rain Dance, something we can't use. Alright, we'll save that encounter for later. We did not get any encounter on the past several routes, so we're kind of saving up. But once we unlock... I, I think I'll go back once I'm ready for Koga. Oh, a power belt. Hey, we got the first item! I think that's our first. Alright. We made it. Fuchsia City. What's up here? Nasty plot. Let me guess, nobody can learn it. That's what I thought. Ooh, Toxic Orb. Thank you. And a Flame Orb. Okay, well, I don't think I have what I need for... Anything in the PC can actually make use of that anymore, except for the Toxic Orb. Yeah, I don't have a Zangoose or anything. Did my Star Raptor even have Guts? No, it had Intimidate. And you had Super Luck. Yeah, I don't think I had anything with Guts then, unless you had Guts. Nope, you have Sheer Force, which is actually kind of good. Route 15, Fuchsia City, we are here, finally, Ugh. I can't wait to relax, oh that's right, we gotta find the false teeth, and isn't that just a rare candy, the false teeth are somewhere in the safari zone, I'm pretty sure, the warden's home, ah, there's our super rod, I thought we got it at, uh, Cinnabar. Oh, we can get an encounter here. We'll wait until we can get Surf. Okay, we are gonna avoid that door like the plague. Uh, you can teach Substitute? Okay, that's a pretty good move. Evolves from something hideous. Because, uh, I'm pretty sure the second we try to go in the Safari Zone, Brandon's gonna show up. Okay, well... Unfortunately... Brandon is a big op bigger obstacle than I thought. There's one mod on his team that has me concerned. I have fe a feeling I have an out for everything else... But he has a Choice Scarfed, Huge Powered Metacham. And I'm not sure what I can do against it. Kind of desperate for something that can deal with his Metacham. I don't really have an out for it. I have an out for mostly everything else. Alright, what can Dexnab get me on this route? So we're gonna go back 
by these three routes here. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna vote. Oh wait, my infinite repel is on. All right, Ambi Palm. Not the best thing. Just getting the ball, dude. What else could I have gotten? There was obviously the Among Us. There was the uh, Sigilip and a Corio. Ghost type of Corio might have been actually useful. I just need it to get past the fucking Metacham. It's a Choice Scarf, pure power Metacham. Let's go get this encounter next. It's our Route 15 at Rift Den encounter. We are getting. Ooh! Ooh! Whoa! What if I just copy Brandon? Yeah, we will catch the Explode. Ooh! Dream Ball! Oh my god, can I get Punk Rock on this thing? Please. Please, 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 please. Does that make mean we get Punk Rock? Or is that, like, disabled for the player character? I got a star piece. Whatever. I, I don't care about the items. You give me nothing but garbage to sell. Uh, no, no. Uh, PC. Where's this thing? Punk Rock? Yes! Ooh, that's so good! Especially into his Exploud! That is great. That is huge. That's a huge encounter. Alright, let's move up to Route 14. Now, what can I... Oh, whoops. I should heal, actually, after that. Alright. What can I Dex Nav here? Pelipper, Swadloon, Torkoal, Durant. And then there's three unknowns. I'm thinking I go with Torkoal. I don't have any fire types. Oh, come on, Torkoal, please come out. I, I need a fire type. I have no fire types. Thank you. Okay. I have a fire type at last. Did I even have a fire type before? I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure that is my... I uh, No, that's rock. Yeah, that is literally my first fire type. Rift Den, please give me something good. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Nice! At least I'm getting quick balls and stuff from this. Because I don't know where to buy those. This is Route 12. And there's a lot of stuff I can get here. I can get Actazone. Oh, Mr. Mime? Wow, there's a lot of good stuff here. I'm going to go with the Mr. Mime. Or the Sneasel. Okay. Here we are on Route 13. Talonflame. Charmander. I know Center Scorch is kind of good. I've never used it before, but I've seen it, and it's pretty good. I'm... Honestly, thinking Talonflame, if I can get Gale Wings on it. Rift Den is gonna get me a... Ooh, Duralon. Steel Dragon. I've never used this thing before, but it's very intriguing. Um... Okay, we'll, we'll lead with Gloria. We'll take Zawalo and B, I guess. the dream ball here. Priority to- oh, what- at full HP- what?! Right, they changed it! They nerfed it because of how powerful it was! Four to six weeks later. Okay, we're back. It's about a couple of weeks. I've been running damage calcs like crazy. And I think I have figured out how to beat them without anybody dying. Now, I did have to use one of my two Game Corner Mons. I had to cash it in in order to get it. So I cashed it in for a Dreepy. So Elma here is Jolly Nature. 
And with max speed, we just barely outspeed the, Medi the Choice Scarf Medicham and that Sceptile by like four points. So that can one-shot both of them as well. Now, I have a feeling I can take out the rest of them on my own. There's only one other thing that's a little bit concerning, and that's his Adaptability Choice Band Crawdon. That thing is gonna hit like a truck. So we're gonna do this now. All right, let's get up v -Coon. Hey, Brendan! Alright, so I have an opening strategy for this Metagross. I'm pretty sure this Metagross's opening strategy is to just go for Stealth Rocks and then blow up. Alright, so we're gonna send Gloria in first. Gloria is gonna chomp at him. Yeah, he has the Air Balloon. That was my main concern, unfortunately. Alright, so we're gonna Crunch first. He's gonna Stealth Rock, obviously. So his other two moves are Meteor Mash and, a, and Earthquake. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send in Elma! And now you blow yourself up while doing nothing. I do take a bit of Stealth Rock damage, but there was no way I could find- There was no situation where I could avoid getting the Stealth Rocks. Unfortunately, I feel like the one man that could have done it is dead. Okay, he's sending in the Kronach. This is the... This is the heavy hitter. A knockoff kills me three times over. So, I got a U-turn out of here. This, please get me the max roll. That is the max roll. Nice. Okay. We are A-OK -okay now. I think. I'm gonna go into B. We're gonna... Uh, we're gonna gunk shot next turn. After we take- oh, it's Crunch, not Knock Off. Alright. I'm not gonna Sucker Punch. What? Uh-oh. You're going into Metacham. That's a lot of damage. Let's see, Metacham, Close Combat, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Psycho Cut- What did this kill?! Yeah, okay. Well, I didn't expect that. Uh, a Phantom Force would have killed either way. So I, what I need to do is I need to find a way to get Dragapult back out onto the field, though. Okay, Exploud. My Exploud is actually way stronger than his, so... I am just gonna go straight to Aya. Let's see. Boom Burst, Surf, Flamethrower, Shadow Ball. But I have Punk Rock as well, so I take less damage from this. Now let me show you what a normal Gem Boom Burst does. Uh, Crit doesn't... didn't matter there. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's gonna send in the Guard of War here. Yes! Okay, perfect! Okay, you're gonna trace Punk Rock. That's okay, okay with me. God of War, Focus Blast, Moon Blast, Psychic, t -ball. Well, it's probably gonna go for the Moon Blast here. So I'm gonna send in Patty. Patty, I brought in mainly for fodder. Oh, it's going for t -ball. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. No paralysis. Okay, he has... Okay, the Cronaut is severely injured, though. Alright, I am going to fake out for chip damage. I do not outspeed this Guard of War, because I do not have speed IVs. Alright, we are going to... Okay, we're a Steel-type, so it's probably going to go for Focus Blast, so... Elma. And then Elma can hit it with the Phantom Force. Focus Blast. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Alright, Phantom Force. Yeah, you were gonna Moon Blast. Can't do that. Bye bye You ain't living. You're a glass cannon when it comes to physical attacks. 
All right, all that's left is this Chronon and the Sceptile. Yeah, quick attack kills. Bye bye. Ah! And all that's left is Mega Sceptile. And Dragon Darts one shots. Da -da -da. Fuck you, Brandon. Nice, nice! <laughs> Fuck you, Brandon! No deaths! Yes! We made it to the Safari Zone! We can get Surf! And Rock Smash! So I did have to use one of my game corner mods. Thankfully, I do have a second one I can get. Yep, Rock Smash. We can now actually go get that, uh, that, uh, Terrakion as well. Alright. Come with me, Brendan. Alright. Yes, it's my first visit. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, this is the rock throwing of rock and bait kind of safari zone. Okay, um... Yeah, I will like to play because I want to see what kind of shit I can get in here. Usually what I do for uh, for Safari Zones is I catch one Mon in every single zone and then I can only choose one Mon to actually keep. And I feel like that's what we're going to do here. But that's not happening now. Alright, well, we got rid of our the biggest wall that was in our way. It may have cost us one of our main encounters, but... You know what? I feel like Elma's gonna be a pretty good asset to the team. I did not... This is my first time I've ever actually used a Dragapult. I did not expect it to have 142 base speed. Huh. Anyway, that is probably gonna be where I end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe if you're new. Uh, next time... Uh, Next up, we still need Surf, and I, I'm pretty sure we have to beat Koga in order to actually use it outside of battle. So, thank you guys so much for all your support on all my other videos so far, and I hope to see you guys again next time.